Hello! It is your girl, your favorite life changer, health coach, and auntie of YouTube, Bad Aunt BB. And this is long overdue, okay? I wanted to show you guys what I eat in a day, living my anti-inflammatory lifestyle. But first, go ahead and hit that thumbs up, subscribe to the channel, because we're about to get some good stuff, okay? Um, by the way, I also created a seven day anti-inflammatory meal guide, which is perfect for you to understand why the anti-inflammatory lifestyle is something I personally chose as somebody who suffers with fibromyalgia and psoriatic arthritis, but is currently living prescription free and symptom free naturally because of my lifestyle changes. So. I'll leave that in the description box for you to check out. It's completely free. It's got a grocery list and recipes. You're going to love it. But first, let's get into these meals that I eat in a day to make sure my inflammation is low and my weight is on point. First off, my anti-inflammatory breakfast of steel oats. I got these Millville steel oats from Aldi's. I'm really specific about my organic honey because you want something that's local to you because bees pollinating the honey that's local to you, it's better for your allergies if you have allergies. Then I've got ground cinnamon, some berries, and some vanilla extract. Then you take a cup of water, you put that in the pot alongside a half of a cup of milk for me. You could just use all water, but I wanted to make it creamier. And then you add about a fourth cup of steel oats to make your oatmeal after you bring the water and the milk to a boil. Then it's gonna start looking like this after about 20 minutes or so. You wanna boil it for like 20 to 30 minutes. That's the only thing about this oatmeal. It's not that fast. But then you add your toppings, your cinnamon, your honey, your vanilla, and you're gonna get this beautiful mixture that you can add your berries to, and even some chia seeds or whatever you want, coconut flakes, whatever. You can add all of that to this delicious high fiber breakfast. Next, tuna salad. This is absolutely my favorite. I make this way too much. I'm using a canned tuna, and the first thing I'm doing is chopping up my green peppers and my onions. You can use white onions or yellow onions. It really doesn't matter. I typically have some white onions on deck unless yellow onions are on sale. I really don't notice the difference. Just chop them up into little bite-sized pieces for your quick tuna salad. I'm using this Skipjack Wild Tuna that I got from Whole Foods. I typically use Miracle Whip, but I noticed that Miracle Whip has high fructose corn syrup. So I used an organic light mayo that I got from Whole Foods instead. It's 10 calories more, but that high fructose corn syrup, y'all know how I feel about it, don't do it. I added about eight tablespoons of the mayo into this salad. You can add more if you want to, but I'm being very calorie cautious here. And I will list about how much the calories is in each for these recipes because these are not only in my anti-inflammatory meal plan but the anti-inflammatory meal plan is supposed to be guided for weight loss and you guys know i'm a calorie counter so i am into knowing how many calories i'm putting into my body Sweet potato chili. This anti-inflammatory dinner is delicious. I am using a dark ground turkey, which honestly I will use a ground chicken or a lighter ground turkey. Of course, some chopped green pepper, onion, vegetable broth, chili seasoning, some uh, fourth cup of sweet potatoes, some garlic, two cans of kidney beans. And I must say, if you don't wanna make your own chili seasoning like this one, I wouldn't suggest because it does look like it may have some inflammatory things in it. I don't know how they did that to a seasoning, but they did. <laughs> it was too late for me because I already had it at the house, so I wanted to get rid of this seasoning. And I'm adding a tablespoon of olive oil to a pan, and then I'm going to take my green pepper, garlic, and onion and saute it until they are translucent. Then we can add our pound of ground turkey or chicken, or, I mean, you can use beef for this recipe, but anti-inflammatory, we're not doing red meat here. 
So you wanna ground the meat in the pan while you're cooking it with the onions and the garlic and all of that good stuff as well. Of course, you can add more seasoning here because turkey is very, very much a dry meat and you will have to add additional flavor to it. But once you have it grounded up to perfection and getting some color on it, add your sweet potatoes. You're also gonna add your cup of vegetable broth and then your beans and all that good stuff later before you cover it and let it cook for itself until the sweet potatoes are nice and soft. Also, I didn't show that here, but I did use a big can of nice crushed tomatoes for the chili as well. Tomatoes are optional because it is arguable that tomatoes are not that great for the autoimmune inflammatory protocol diet. So because of the legumes that are in nightshades and tomatoes are nightshades. So if you wanna not use tomatoes, feel free to do that too. Actually, most of my chilies, I don't use tomatoes, but today I was feeling tomato-y. When I get a beautiful mixture, I just cover it up and I just let it steam until the sweet potatoes are nice and soft. And then you get a good bowl of nice, warm sweet potato chili. This is so savory for the cold and the fall, and that sweet potato adds just a different hint of something sweet and also anti-inflammatory to the touch. It's a great recipe, guys. This is a great recipe. You're gonna love it. Make sure you check it out and tell me about it, as well as download my free meal guide in the description box below. You're gonna love it. You're gonna thank me for this. I want you to leave any questions, comments, or concerns at the bottom of this video. There's no community without the you and the I. Check me out on all social media as well as badauntbb.com because I love hearing from you and you're really going to love this seven-day anti-inflammatory weight loss meal plan. Until next time, it's your girl, Bad Aunt BB, over and out.